This is a brief video to show you how to solve equations using graphing software. What we want to do is come to an understanding of what it means to solve an equation. I've got a little definition for you here at the top. Solving an equation means finding all of the values of x that make the equation true. So here's an equation that we want to solve. And we're going to do that using graphing by graphing an equivalent function. So you can see here that the left side of the equation is actually the function here that I'm going to graph. And we want to know where that is equivalent to 0. So in other words, where does that actually cross the x-axis? Right. So there's your line, y equals 0. Because we're finding those x-intercepts, we don't really need to graph that line because we can just see that using the axes. So it gives us three solutions. So this would have three different values for x that would act as solutions for our equation. Negative 3.164, and we'd have to note that that's approximate. We're going to assume that Desmos has rounded that answer, as well as negative 0 0.227 and 1.391. So three solutions for this cubic where it equals zero. Now you're not always going to have ones that equal zero. So here's a second example. We have another cubic equals five. So there's an equation we want to find the solutions for. And I'm gonna turn this function on here. You can see I've copied the left side of the equation again. But this time I'm not looking for where it equals zero. I'm looking for where it equals five. So I need also to graph y equals 5. So where is this function equal to 5? Is where that intersection point is between the two graphs. So in this case, this one happens to only have one solution, or one real solution anyway, and that's negative 0.757.